Number 13 was coming from statistics and let us go through it. It was by the very ease and leave. The table below shows the marks scored by students in the test. This was the table. Add the mean mark, then draw a histogram, use the histogram to estimate the model mark. Now, now, we covered everything about statistics. So if you want to see more about statistics, there are many, many things about statistics. You go to the playlist, then you will see the whole topic of statistics. Now, we had start by drawing a table because we always use the table to do a histogram. But now, to do a histogram, we need two things. We need the upper class boundaries and also need the frequency. The number of students will automatically qualify to be the frequency, then we get the pass boundary. Now, because we don't have decimal points, we subtract 0 0.5 from here, then we add 0 0.5 to the upper class. So the lower class we subtract, the upper class we add. So that's how I generated this. This frequency is coming from here. So that's how I need the class boundaries. Then I need also to get x because I need to get the mean. So my x, what we do, we get this plus this divided by 2. And add 11 plus 15, then you divide by 2, you get this. You get this plus this divided by 2, you get this. So that's what we are doing to get the x there. When I come now to get my f of x, because what am I getting f of x? Because I know that my mean mark is going to be given by summation f of x over summation f. So that's why I'm getting those ones now. So my f of x, I get this times this to get this. You get the f times the x to get f of x. Then this times this to get this. That's how we are getting that. Now what I'm remaining with to get is the summation f of x. When I sum all those figures there. So let me sum them quickly. When I sum them, I get 1,320. So now if I'm substitute in there, I have now 130, I mean 1,320. Now divide by the sum of frequency. The frequency here, they are telling us the table. So you sum now, also here we come and we get our summation F there by summing those students there. So if we sum them, plus 5, plus 6, I'm getting 45. So that's the sum, divided by 45. And so my answer there is going to be 29.33 decading. So our 3, 3, Three, the carding. I'm giving this to four decimal places, and these are marks. So this is now our main mark. So our main mark is basically that one. Now they want us now to draw a histogram. To draw a histogram now, what I do, we always put frequency here, we put our frequency there, then we put here the marks. So here we put max, max like that. So now after doing that now, we say, we put now the 10.5 comes here. The lower class, we start here by lower class, but oh, some people start with the 15, then that's how it's always here, but it's always better to start with the lower class here. Then you put it there. Then here we put our frequency. So then what we, when we have max here, they are going to be dense on our horizontal there. Then the first class now from 10.5 to 15.5, they have a frequency of 4. That's why you see here we have a frequency of 4. That class has 4. The next class, which is 15.5 to 20.5, is having a frequency of 5. The next class is having 6. So it's having 10. Next is having 8. Next is having 6, 4, and 2. So that's how we draw our histogram with the ease. 
So now, don't shed it, please. You, that is not unnecessary, by the way. You just leave it like that. Now, they are telling us that use the histogram to estimate the model mark. Now, to estimate the model mark, what we do, you get your ruler. So then your ruler, you get, you join this upper corner to this corner to the immediate corner to this class with the highest frequency. This is the class with the highest frequency. So you get this, the corresponding corner, also get this, this corresponding corner like that. So you get your ruler now, you do that. Then you also get this, you join it to that one there. Then that's what we have. So now to get our model mark, you come now, you draw a line and when you touch, that's how we read our model mark. So now where these two meet, you do a line until when you come here down. So now I get mine. So that's how I'm going to get my model mark. So now this one is going to give me my model mark. So now from there, if I'm to get my model mark using, it's okay to put your working or your solutions here. So I can put here my model mark. Model mark. It's going to be, you see it's going to be 25.5 plus. I'm seeing here I'm having like 60 small squares times what each small square represent. Because I'm using 2 to centimeters, it means that each small square represents 1. So I mean now my model mark is going to be that 1.5. So that is my model mark. As as it, has, it has to be close to that one. So that's how we had to handle that. And so that's how you are supposed to get your 12 marks towards a very easy number of statistics. So let us go to the next number. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe.